Your start page in Notion is probably the first thing you see when you go into the app, so making sure that it's organized and it looks sort of good is kind of important. In this video, I'm going to create a start page on Notion from scratch that should cover all of your basic needs, and you don't need to be much of a Notion expert to be able to do it. Hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay part of the conversation. I think the first thing someone wants on their start page is some sort of planner. I have done a video on different planner designs, so make sure you check that one out. But in this one, all I'm going to do is type out the days of the week and then turn them into toggles. I use the shortcut Control shift 7 to turn them all into toggles. So you can put any information you want in there, then you can just close it down so you don't have to see all of the tasks you got to do. I'm now going to write out some headers that I can put all my stuff underneath just to keep it organized. Areas, tasks and projects are the three main areas that I use. The inbox and archives I'll explain a little bit later. So once we've moved them into the position that we want, I'm now going to change the three headers into actual header blocks by using the shortcut Control shift 3 What I'm now going to do is move the rest of the planner into the same area as Monday because now we have five separate blocks and we can change the width of those as, as big or as small as we want. I'm now going to type out some different things that we might have in this area, so things like health or food, some tasks we're going to do and some projects. You may have noticed I don't have the sidebar on the left side of my screen. It's something I personally don't really like because it restricts some of the space, but the shortcut to getting rid of that is actually a control forward slash. Now that we've written some things down, we're now going to highlight them all, push control shift 9 and turn them all into pages. There are other ways to do that, which I explained in my page video over here. And then we can do the same to the inbox and archives. I'd suggest having these sort of things. So if there are pages that you don't need to necessarily look at anymore, but you still want them involved in your workspace, you can put them in archives. And for quick notes and things you want to do, but you're not really sure where to put them, you could just put them in the inbox as a bit of like a dumping ground. As these are all individual pages, you can then put whatever you want in them. And of course, you can put images and backgrounds and other things in there. And I did do a video recently on some different designs, so check that one out. And don't forget to watch this video for more Notion tips and tricks. I'll see you there.